to uh, find a bird right there uh, 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 on the side of our house. It was inside of a trash can. I guess it was learning learning how to fly. And the little guy is stunned. Uh, Mama's perched up right there. You can see she's perched up right there <laughs> on the on our telephone wire. And she's wanting her baby, which we posted right here. It was inside of a trash can on the side of our house, but we posted it right here. Mama left. Mama left because she thinks we're, we're, we're going to hurt her. But uh, this is the little guy right here. I want to see him. We're going to get a little close-up of the guy. We think he's learning how to fly. He's a little stunned or stressed. But we took him out of the trash can and posted him right here in front of the house. And Mama's obviously keeping an eye on him because... She, She's out there somewhere coming back and forth. We're going to step, ba uh, step step back a little bit and see if uh, she comes and, and helps him out because uh, poor little guy was there for, uh, for, 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 for a while. We were hearing him all night last night, chirping and chirping, and we kept on wondering what that chirping sound. And today when I started cleaning, I found this little guy in the, in the bucket, so I figured that was, that's what had happened was this guy was learning how to fly, and he somehow ended up in the in the bucket because he's not hurt i can tell by the way he walks and stuff like that he's he's pretty healthy he, he's got some jump on him which is good but uh we're hoping that mama comes and does her thing because uh the poor little guy we don't want to stress him out too much and we're we're animal lovers we're gonna help out if we can so go find your mama, oh, is. which is right on top of our antenna. Look at that. Keeping an eye on the whole thing. That is cute. That is awesome. There she goes. She'll be back. Yes. Oh, We're going to stand back and see what happens because they obviously uh, they obviously have their thing going. So let's step back, you guys, back up. And we'll try to get it. Phone, the focus on our phones kind of sucks. We ain't rich, people. But, uh. Little guy's moving. Look at He's on the wall moving. Hopefully, he realizes. Look at There's Mama on the telephone wire. Oh, that is cool. All right. They see each other. Well, Mama took off. He's still right there. Mama left. She's right there. No, that's not Mama over there. Mama went that way right now. I saw her. But did he see? He sees her now. He was her. here. It might be her gender equality. It, it, I, no, I, he sees Mama. It's Mama. No, but do you know it's Unless, unless it's, unless it's a daddy with Mama parts. Dad. <laughs> He's here. Oh dang! The guy jumped. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. He, 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 no, he went into one of the holes on top of the brick uh, wall. They're looking for each other. They're there doing their thing. Little guy's got to, got to learn how to get up. There's mama again on the telephone wire. Keep an eye on the whole thing. I hate the, the focus on this phone because, uh, like I said, we're not rich. So we can't really afford the right equipment. We try to work with what we've got. Uh, but moments like these are priceless to anybody, no matter what you're recording it on. And I like it. I love it, man. Lord knows if I was the one looking for my little monkeys, I'd go heartbroken wondering where they are. So from mama's perspective, I hope you hook it up, girly. And baby. Hey, man, you got to get up on that trampoline and start jumping, son. Mama scared of me. She flew away. Yeah, I'll try to get it as close as I can without stressing her out too much. You guys, I'm going to put her on the front yard. Let's see if little guy doesn't get too stressed out. He's right there perched up. Mama's in the lemon tree. She's right there. Look at that. I'm not wanting to stress the little guy out, but I think I gotta get her, get her, get him a little closer to Mama. Look at that. There's Mama. 
It's not going away. And there's a little guy right there. So without hoping that he falls, I'll put him on the tree. Gotcha. All right. And there's daddy. Look at that. There's daddy and there's mommy. And I'm gonna perch this guy right up on the lemon tree. Go on, little guy. Oh, he bit me. <laughs> He's attacking. Oh, you go on. Go ahead, homeboy. Oh, they they got sucked up inside. He, he went in there. Oh, he's right here. He's going to attack me again. I know it. But the little guy's right there. He thinks I'm, I'm, I'm a threat, which is fine. He's just protecting his family. But the guy came at my hand, man. He swooped on me. They're both right there, posted. Look at mama. She's on the wire. And there's daddy who just freaking struck me, dude. <laughs> Go ahead, homeboy. Yeah, they're worried from. Oh, he swooped on me again. <laughs> I feel bad for threatening these guys, but uh. I just want to make sure everything goes fine with this guy. He's up in the tree now. They're going to hook him up. So we're going to go ahead and walk away. These guys are feeling a little too stressed out. I can see it already. All right. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck. It is cool, man. It has to be cool. <laughs> yeah, that guy, per <laughs> he swooped down on me twice. <laughs> I remember this one time when I was a little kid, uh, we, we, we used to go to the Arboretum over there in Pasadena. My, my, uh, my stepdad, he, was, uh, he, used to, he used to do the landscaping of, those, of that area. And uh, I, I, I saw a little guy exactly the same, but it was a, a peacock, a pe peacock baby. So uh, I, I went to go pick him up the same way I was trying to help this guy. I must have been 11 years old, something like that, 10, 11. And I picked the guy up, and out of the bushes, out of nowhere, comes this huge, monstrous bird. I'm talking about this freaking voracious monstrosity just out of the bushes. And he freaking cl clawed me right in the chest. I had claw marks on my chest because I had picked up the baby, but I didn't realize that he was that close and I didn't realize that he can come out of nowhere. So I picked it up and that thing comes at me and I throw the guy in the air and I start running for my dear life and all I see is these colored feathers following behind me like a huge freaking parachute. And I just ran for dear life straight to my stepdad. <laughs> jumped behind him and said dude it's attacking me <laughs> the two the two guys that were sitting there landscaping just started cracking up <laughs> like, yeah man you ain't supposed to mess with the wildlife around here dude they'll get you <laughs> ever since then i kind of learned my lesson but at the same time when you got to help some do something like that man it is a beautiful thing uh the guy deserves his life and more so uh we're gonna go ahead and, and set him free we put him up on the tree and hopefully uh life takes the right course man uh, we hope you like the video and uh, see you guys later.